Is Gcam really the savior of the Surface Dual Camera and do you need it to improve the camera performance and quality? Let's find out. How's it Grant here and welcome to episode 3 of Stock vs Gcam where I install the Google Camera app otherwise known as Gcam on a phone to compare it to its stock camera app that came with the phone. And so I've got Gcam installed here on the Surface Duo and this is a version that claims to support the Surface Duo. And let me tell you off the bat right now it pretty much does not. So you can go ahead and install this version on your Surface Duo if you want to see if it gives you any better camera performance. But keep in mind that some of the issues that I ran into, number one being that night sight does not work. I could not get night sight working at all. Number two, HDR enhanced does not work. HDR plus works, but you're not going to be able to get HDR enhanced photos. And lastly, it does not support the surface dual aspect ratio. So sometimes the actual shutter button is cut off at the bottom. You won't even be able to see it. You have to exit Gcam, come back in, and the shutter button will be in the middle of the display. So I guess that's better than not seeing it at all. But what you don't see is the preview icon. So you won't be able to know if it actually took a picture or not. You're going to have to exit out of Gcam, launch your gallery app to see if it actually took the photo. So other than that, I've got Gcam working. I've took a bunch of photos and videos in both good and low light conditions. So you can go ahead and check out to see if Gcam is actually going to improve the photo quality, video quality on your Surface Duo enough to your liking. To me personally, I didn't see that much of an improvement really. Some photos, yes, is a little bit more detailed and the video may be a little bit better, but all in all, I don't, I didn't really see a big dramatic boost in quality or performance other than the shutter performance. Actually, the shutter lag on the stock camera app is still pretty bad even after all the updates and the G cam is definitely a lot faster. So go ahead and take a look at all the photos and videos. Let me know what you think and hope you enjoy the video.
So here's some quick selfie video from the Surface Duo here. Yes, it's using the same rear-facing camera. It has a single lens, but just wanted to see and show you what it looks like if you want to shoot some front-facing video, some selfie video, or just have a person while you're shooting. This is what it kind of looks like. And I'll kind of pan up so you can see how the exposure handles again from this camera here in this situation. And we'll go ahead and walk this way so you can see what the stabilization looks like. And I've also got a fountain here to my left so you can kind of hear how the mics are handling some of these outdoor noise and background noise and if it's canceling enough noise for you or not. But there's just a quick test of some selfie video on the Surface Duo. And here's some quick low light video in 4K from the Surface Duo main stock camera app here. So again, 4K low light video from the Surface Duo stock camera app here. And I'll just pan around this way and I'll start walking to test stabilization. And we'll also walk over to a much darker area so you can kind of see what that looks like compared to that brighter area that you just saw from the stock camera app. So as you can see, it's already getting much darker. And as you round the corner, it'll be pretty dark out this way and through the viewfinder. It is definitely quite dark here. And we'll pull up. I'll pan up into the night sky so you can see what that looks like there. A lot darker. And we'll pan over this way for a mixed lighting situation where it's dark down the alleyway but has some accent lights there. So there's quick 4K footage in low light from the stock camera app on the Surface Duel.